What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be reviewing three figures from WWE Elite Series 61, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, and Big E. So if you guys checked out my SummerSlam predictions video yesterday, if you haven't, please go check it out on the channel. It is live right now. But in that video, we did debut the brand new intro that you just saw, and it was created by SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram, guys. Definitely go give him a follow. He is an absolute beast, and he created that amazing intro with the stop motion of the WWE figures, and I am just so thrilled to have it now here on the channel. A lot of you guys loved it yesterday. You left a great, a lot of great positive feedback and sent great messages towards him, and I know he appreciated it so much. So if you guys did love the intro and you appreciated it, go follow him on Instagram. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Both links are in the description below. Also, Beast Nation, my boy James. He was the one that remixed that beat and that music that goes with that intro. So not only did SM create that intro, but uh, B Station provided the music for it. So he definitely deserves credit as well. So definitely go give him a follow. He's also a fantastic customizer. So if you like WWE Customs and you like uh, some great figures, guys, go give both of these guys a follow on Instagram. And now let's get into this review. So two days ago, guys, we did take a look at Elite 61 Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. And today we're going to be looking at three figures. You know, they didn't give a Shane McMahon out of the set, so I'm going to go three in this video since we did two in the other. I don't know what's up with Shane McMahon. I don't know. It's not posted on Amazon or anywhere, but if you want to grab Elite 61, guys, that link for Amazon is actually working down in the description below. If you want to help out the channel, go buy your own Elite 61 in that link in the description, and it will definitely help out the channel, and I would appreciate it so very much. Also, on August 17th this Friday, if you're going to SummerSlam, the treasure truck will be out there where you can buy some Elite 61. 61 figures yourself so you definitely want to go get on in on that after this video click that link go buy yourself some elite 61 because you guys deserve it but right here we have the fashion popo and big e right here guys i went ahead and opened big e because i wanted to use this figure in my uh my uh, uh summer slam predictions video so i wanted to have the full america attire and we're going to look at new day all together i mean my god this this is easily the best New Day set, guys. I think they knocked it out of the park with all these colors. We'll get into that, though. But uh, let's go ahead and crack Tyler Breeze, Fandango out of their packaging and see what they look like. Big E about to get sandwiched. So here we have all three Elite 61 figures out of their packaging, guys. And I love this Fashion Police set. My God, I think they did a great job on these. Uh, besides a few things about the Fandango, I think the Tyler Breeze figure is perfect. I think the, the Tyler Breeze is easily one of the best figures they've made this year. 2018 early favorite figure of the year. Could easily be a top 10, guys. Uh, Fandango is a great figure. I wish they would have used some different parts choices and the head scan is a bit iffy. I don't know. We'll get into that. But uh, Big E is looking fantastic. I love this singlet so much. The yellow boots really throw it over the top for me. The white outsoles with the ice cream, Xavier, Kofi, and Big E faces on them. And just everything about the New Day set is freaking so Super Flames, guys. My goodness gracious alive. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a closer look at all of their accessories because I'm going to be honest, uh, the Fashion Popo come with a ton of accessories that we're going to take a closer look at. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at the figures themselves. All right, guys, so getting into their accessories right here, we do have two different, uh, not two different, what are you, stupid idiot moron? Oh! Two of the same Brazango Fashion Police t-shirts right here. You know, they sold this on WWE Shop. Don't think it sold very well. Not the best t-shirts, but uh, they're great. You know, they're cloth, and they look great on the figure, so I cannot complain. So we get two cloth t-shirts with the Fashion Police logos on there. We get two pairs of these police hats. They're in this white color with, like, the badge on there with the black colorway. Looks really good. Very happy to get this. So we get not only two shirts, two hats, but also two pairs of sunglasses with our Fashion Police figure. So you get these uh, cool little, I don't even know, 
uh, freaking shades with the orange uh, stuff on there, yellow color. So we get two pairs of those as well, one for each member of the Fashion Police. And then of Tyler Breeze obviously always comes with his signature selfie stick in the pink fur this time instead of the blue. You know, we saw this with the TNF Tyler Breeze. So we get another one of those this time. I'm kind of glad because I actually shaved my blue one down to get the cell phone out of there to have a cell phone for my WWE figures. So I'm glad that uh, I get another one of those. And then we have Big E's entrance jacket right here. And it is, you know, the same mold we've seen for Big E every time they give this to us. Uh, it's got the ice cream and the America dripping all down. It's got his uh, Big E face ice cream popped on the side there, or on the back, I should say. And the red, white, and blue with the black just looks so good. Like, the colors freaking pop off this thing. I love the way this looks. And black color on the inside. And that's pretty much it for all of their accessories. So looking at the figures themselves, guys, we have Big E up first right here. I really dig this head scan. Uh, it's probably the best uh, Big E head scan, I believe. That freaking, you know, big AF smile that Big E always does right here. I don't know if they used the face scan technology. I'm pretty sure they did. But um, it looks good all the way around. On the back, though, I do have some white marks on his neck and on his uh, head right there. Uh, on the singlet, the colors pop again. They look really, really great. I love the stars. All of the stars came out clean. The ice cream dripping. The Big E ice pop or ice cream pop faces look great. And uh, it's your basic Big E. You know, we've seen this so many times. This body mold is the same Big E body mold. They actually did give him black wrist tape, so that is a plus. Going down into the shoes, this is probably my favorite part of the entire figure. You have have the New Day ice cream boots on there and the yellow just looks so good with this attire like you stand back there you can see all of the colors on this thing look fantastic and the shoes are again my favorite part of the entire thing I just love the way those look so Big E came out as an A plus figure however we cannot say the same about my boy Fandango right here because Fandango they got him looking like he never left the gym or something like that my god look at this torso I know Fandango is pretty jacked but not this Jack Brad. This is this is bigger than Finn Balor. I mean, my God, he's shredded to hell right here. He's got massive arms, just shredded. Up. Like my God, it's like John Morrison or something, but even ripped. I, I'm more ripped. I don't even know what to say. The head scan's not my favorite. I don't know. I just I see a sort of likeness to Fandango, but I don't like it, guys. I just don't like that head scan. They never have given us a good Fandango head scan. But uh, he's got like the mullet sort of look to him, which is fine. He did have this haircut at one point, so I guess this is back when he had that haircut. But uh, he got like a dark, uh, darker shade of brown or like even a black color for the facial hair and eyebrows. And then his hair color is like a darkish brown. So I don't know why they did that. I don't know if that's accurate in real life or not. But yeah, guys, they absolutely made Fandango absolutely jacked. Going down into the pants, though, I love these pants. I think they did a fantastic job on this. They also added his tattoos to his arms right here. Uh, Fandango actually has a ton of tattoos, if you didn't know. But going down into the pants, we do have this blue color. You got some handcuffs on there. Brazango logo right there. Nice belt uh, decal on there. Got some handcuffs. Do not. It says fashion fashion line do not cross yeah so you know the fashion police that's their whole deal handing out tickets to people who look awful fandango logo down here got some lime green blue uh probably my favorite part of the attire is the belt and then the fashion popo in that same color with the lime green outline in it i think that looks great so they did a great job on the pants i think the lower body of fandango is, uh, is pretty much perfect i'd probably switch these arms out for some smaller arms and then definitely switch out this torso i mean i would even buy like a second breeze or uh, somebody that's the same color as Dango. I don't think they're the same color, but uh, they might be. Anyways, I don't think it'd be a big deal if you switched out the torso to get it, you know, smaller. I just cannot see, you know, taking this figure seriously with that Jack torso. So I'll probably be switching that. But the Fandango figure is a freaking nice figure besides that Jack torso and stuff. Going into Tyler Breeze, guys. This figure right here is perfect, I think. I mean, my God, look at the head scan. Look at the torso. We've seen, you know, the, everything is molded the same as the TNF Tyler Breeze, but they did give us some more detail here in the head scan. He's not doing his puckered lips face. He is just sitting there, so it looks a lot better. You know, he's not always puckered up for a selfie all the time, so that looks great. I love these wristbands right here. It's like a zebra pink and black print, or uh, like a, it sort of looks like a palm tree on this one, but I don't think so. Uh, we got the belt design going on. Different belt design than Fandango, so they are, you know, unique to their own right there. Got some uh, bright blue tights going down, got handcuffs on it. Same stuff as Fandango with the Fashion Popo. 
fashion line, do not cross, and uh, his go like a curve instead of straight down like Dango's. And then you get that same zebra or palm tree-esque, you know, pink and black pattern going down into the fringe at the bottom like Tyler Breeze wears, which Tyler Breeze doesn't do this anymore. Now he just wears a t-shirt and uh, some short trunks to the ring because he's a jobber and they make him look like trash, even though he deserves way better. But, uh... These guys look great. I am happy with all three of these figures. I would recommend getting all of them. Go to Amazon and get these figures, guys. I mean, my goodness. But uh, the Fashion Police, I mean, I think that they could have been pushed. I think that they could have made some noise. They were hilarious. They have great humor. I think that uh, when they were doing, you know, the Fashion File stuff on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live, I think it was SmackDown Live, they were terrific together. I don't know why they, you know, put it into... I know Fa uh, Fandango got injured. But they never gave us answers. They didn't ever get a big push, and it sort of sucks. So maybe when Fandango gets back or something, we can have a good push for them. But uh, Tyler Breeze deserves better. He needs to do something because uh, he's a great mid-card talent. He could even be main event talent. One of the best in-ring workers, I think, on the whole freaking roster. So uh, it's it's sad to see how they treat Tyler Breeze. But, uh, yeah, all three of these figures are fantastic. So before we move on, guys, I definitely wanted to show you guys this look right here. This is all of the brand-new Elite's for the New Day in their America attire. I mean, I don't know how you get better than this. This is definitely the best New Day set. I think the colors and everything, all the head scans, all of the boots and the attires just look so great up next to each other. You have the Elite 60 Xavier Woods, the Elite 60 Kofi Kingston, and then, of course, our brand new Elite 61 Big E. Uh, I would definitely go to Amazon and pick all these guys up, guys. If you have a chance, definitely go hit that link. Go pick up your Big E and um, complete your New Day set because this is the best New Day set they have made thus far, hands down. I love the first elites. The uh, orange attire wasn't my favorite because the uh, the color wasn't quite accurate. And then the uh, the Toys R Us exclusive three Bootios pack. It was solid, but the black and gold just isn't my thing. I think the USA attire is freaking fresh to death, especially if you... Ta imagine this, if you take all these figures and then you pose them with the Raw tag titles and SmackDown Live tag titles at the same time. Imagine the flames, guys. Imagine the flames in that picture. But uh, I'll probably post that on Instagram here in a minute. But uh, this looks great. This, this, These are perfect, and I love these New Day Elites so very much. Definitely the best set, and uh, yeah. So yeah, it looks like the Fast Police are going to be riding the New Day a ticket right here for those atrocious, you know, ice cream America attires, but uh, that pretty much does it for this review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, if you would like to pick any of these figures up, go click that link in the description to pick these things up on Amazon. Guys, they're having a special event for SummerSlam, and you guys will be able to grab these, I'm pretty sure, on Amazon, so definitely go do that. How fire and flames is this freaking picture right here, guys? You don't know how hard it was to get that United States Championship on Big E. My God, I had to stretch it, but it's on there, and and uh, with all of them holding all that gold right there, guys, New Day looks fresh. you got the Raw Tag Titles, the SmackDown Live Tag Titles, and the U.S. title there in the middle to complete it. But I would definitely recommend both uh, the Fashion Police and Big E. All three of the figures are fantastic. You definitely need to grab the whole New Day set, though, so you can have this freaking amazing American attire for your WWE figures. But that does it for this review, guys. Again, definitely go check out SM underscore Battle underscore Stories and Beast Nation out on Instagram and give them a check out because they're definitely worth it. And I am so gra uh, grateful for the amazing intro. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review. Comment down below what you think of the figures here in this video. What do you think about this Flames picture of them and all the titles? Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.